Hello, this is Kirk Gowdy Shark Hunting, and today I will be doing a how-to video on how to make a casted shark rig. These are the exact rigs I use to cast all my shark baits. Um, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need four uh, crimps. I use 480 pound wire, so 1.8 D crimps. Uh, you're going to need a pair of crimpers. You're going to need a circle hook, or whatever hook you prefer to use. Some people, this is not the hook I usually use. This is a Mustad Ultra Point Demon Circle Hook. It's not the hook I prefer to use on most cases, but I've heard a pe plenty of people use them, so they must work. Um, you're going to need 350 pounds swivel at least. Uh, 200 to 350. You can use 600. I've, I have used 600. But just a swivel in that general size will work. You're going to need about two foot length of wire. Get your, you need a measuring tape too to measure the wire. And that's two feet right there. So you get your crimpers or your cutters or whatever you use. And that, you want to start off with exactly two feet. Make your rigs under two feet two feet or under, or if you go over you'll lose a lot of casting distance. So uh, you go through twice with uh, two crimps. You got, so you got those two crimps. Go through the eye of the hook. And tuck that in just a little bit. Make sure that that you have a little bit of a loop there. You don't want it too tight to the point where the hook can't move around and be free in the shark's mouth, but you also don't want it too loose to the point where you're just wasting leader material and you got this gigantic sloppy loop in the middle of your line. You want to make sure I prefer not to stick the end of the wire out. I mean, if you're sliding your hand down the line and then you hit that wire if you're not wearing gloves. That is a real pain and it hurts like heck. It's terrible. The thing is, sometimes this wire can be very, very stubborn when trying to make leaders. There you go. Now you want to gently crimp the middle. Very gently crimp the middle, just to the point where you can hold it, and then you crimp each side fairly hard, not too hard to the point where you're going to destroy your crimp, but just hard enough. And do not crimp the ends either, either. You want the ends to stick out just a little bit. to the other end since that end's done. And you go through once. Go through twice. Go through one more time. Through each end. And then pull tight. And onto your swivel. Do this to the same side again. You want to do this on this side. You want to make sure it's lined up. Do a light crimp in the middle. One, two crimps, two crimps on each end. So on each crimp, you want to do. You want to clamp down twice in two different spots. And there you go. That is the basic shark leader for the surf. Um, 
this is the exact leader I use. The only difference is I usually don't use these hooks. They will work, but um, I usually use Gamagatsu Big Eye Circle hooks anywhere from 7 aught to 10 aught. Um, but I use these swivels, I use this line. Just pick whatever circle hook you prefer to use. Uh, no, do not use offset circle hooks. Only use non offset circle hooks. Um, offset circle hooks will have a tendency to gut hook. They do not work as well, which kind of defeats the purpose of using a circle hook. So only use offset, non offset circle hooks. Um, if you also want to do, you can have a, about a 15 foot or 20 foot leader. Um, I use wind on leaders sometimes from 130 pounds, like 100, about 130 pounds is what I like to use. And uh, I trim it to the length of my rods. I use 12 to 13 foot rods. So if I'm using a 12 foot rod, I use a 12 foot. Uh, I cut it down to 12 feet. If I use a 13 foot rod, I cut it down to 13 feet. But uh, that keeps it in case a big shark comes by and swallows past this wire, you'll still have some leeway so he doesn't cut through your main line. So uh, this is Kurt Gowdy Shark Hunter signing off. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.